for breakfast this morning. I will be having a large bowl of cotton candy grapes. I have to say they do smell like cotton candy. What is this sorcery? Hmm. The only thing that tastes like cotton candy is the initial hit. After that, it just tastes like a normal red grape. Is it the skin? I mean, I would not go as far as to say they taste like cotton candy. They have a hint of like cotton candy fragrance. Is there something sprayed on them? <laughs> I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> so today is a very special day. Today is a day that my bed gets a very much needed makeover. Tell them, Buki. Tell them how bad mommy's bed is. Like, where do I even begin? First of all, this blanket, rest in peace, is like coming apart in so many areas. Yes, I know you didn't do it. It's all Rini. Rini is the Satan child that likes to destroy everything. Lots of stains on my, I think, is this makeup, period blood? It could be either. Then, the absolute worst situation is my sheets. I don't know if you can see this. Do you see the pilling nightmare? Like this does not feel good on my body at night. So my friends over at Brooklinen have hooked it up and sent me their Lux Hardcore Sheet bundle which contains a fitted sheet a flat sheet two pillowcases and a duvet cover brooklyn sheets have so much hype they're literally known as the internet's favorite sheets because they have 35,000 5 five-star reviews very excited to test them out i know they're going to be an upgrade from what i have going on now and I can't wait to get in these tonight when I go to bed. So Brooklyn believes that everyone deserves to have beautiful luxury bedding, but without the luxury price tag. And speaking of saving more, when you purchase the bundle versus the items individually, you actually save 25%. So it's a really good deal. I personally chose all white because you know, it's clean and classic and beautiful. But when you go onto the site, you can actually see that they offer over 25 different colors and patterns. And this is the Lux edition, which is a sateen style fabric with a 480 thread count. And it has a really nice luminous type finish. I just know I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I'm so excited to get into bed later. But if you guys are interested in placing an order, Brooklyn is actually offering my viewers $20 off your purchase of 100. All you have to do is click the link in my description and use code Kalel at checkout. So I'm just gonna go upstairs and pop all of this in the wash. And then later on, we'll come back and give my bed its much needed makeover. Quick correction, the bundle actually comes with four pillowcases, which is amazing. I didn't realize that there were two in the sheet set and then an additional two in included in the bundle. This is actually great news because I've been breaking out lately and been wanting to change my pillowcases more often, but I didn't have spare ones and now I do. So while I get ready today, I thought I would read some assumptions about me. I'm like, kind of nervous because I think I'm about to get roasted, but at the same time, I feel like I'm such an open book with you guys that you probably don't really need to assume you just know but regardless i'm very very interested to see what you have to say all right we're starting out real strong so this person says you often wonder what your life would have been like if you had gone through with your marriage <laughs> i mean i would be lying if i said i've never thought about it but when that relationship ended i was pretty certain that that was the right choice for both of us. But I mean, I do consider him like my one great love of my life. Probably out of anyone that I was with, I feel I was my happiest with him. I was like the most in love with him. And I think we had a really special connection. But do I specifically think about going through with the marriage? A little bit. So we were building a house right when we broke up, like a custom home. And I often think about if I were living in that house right now and I had like kids and I was married to him, what would that be like? I mean, it's just so different than my current 
situation. It's like the, the extreme opposite of my current situation. So I do think about that a lot, but I don't necessarily wish I would have made that choice, if that makes sense. You live off your parents' money, not totally, but you rely on it and them. This is for the most part a false assumption. My parents have never given me a cent that I didn't pay them back. I think you are quick to obsess over things and are quick to come up with ideas, but they never come through. This is definitely true. The amount of hours I have put into things that never actually happened is a little depressing. Financially irresponsible, spending way too much, not investing. Definitely true. <laughs> you regret not moving out of LA sooner. I was living in Orange County the uh, last few years of it and it's just so beautiful there. I was just like a walk away to the beach and just the vibes and the weather and just everything about it was great. However, I don't know if all of those things are worth the price tag. If I would have moved back to Missouri sooner, I could have, one, not gone through my financial struggles, period, but two, I could have been saving a lot more money, but actually I don't really save money because I'm financially irresponsible. <laughs> actually, I do save money when I'm making money, but it's pretty hard to save money when not that much money is coming in, you know? That you are totally different offline, more chill, but hectic in your own head. I do consider my personality type to be super chill but I think I'm super chill in my videos and I think I'm super chill in real life. So I wouldn't say I'm that different offline. You're an only child. False, I have an older brother. <laughs> You're a born again virgin. True. Having friendships are too hard for you to maintain. Um, I mean, here's the thing. I'm extremely introverted, meaning I just don't crave human interaction and daily conversation in the way that it seems like many people around me do. I kind of prefer being alone about 98% of the time. I don't know if something's wrong with me, but it's just what I like. It's hard to put in the hours for something like that when you don't feel you need it. Like, don't get me wrong, I think human interaction is valuable in many ways. I just... <laughs> You're asexual. I have thought about it and researched it. But here's the thing, I don't think it's that I'm asexual, I think it's that I have very high standards and that not many people can do it for me. I've had moments in my life where I've been very sexual, but they don't last very long or... <laughs> But do I actually think I'm asexual? No, I don't. I think it just, uh, I'm very picky. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. You secretly still wanna be in a relationship but can't find the right guy. This is a hell no. I have not looked, I have not even gotten close to looking at guys. It's just not, I have, z I have zero interest. But I will say I am getting close to the idea of looking close like i'm thinking maybe next year i will start going on a few casual dates however i'm really not interested in long-term relationship or marriage like it's just not it's not for me you want a baby but not a man this is actually true it's funny to me that you could pick up on that <laughs> Mm, I'm getting dangerously close to getting my eggs out and possibly just having them fertilized with a sperm donor. So we'll see. Stay tuned for the IVF vlogs. <laughs> You're learning how to truly love yourself. Definitely true. 1000% true. And I think I'm getting quite good at it. I used to be the absolute worst at it, but I'm slowly learning just all of the art of being alone. And I'm this close to saying I've mastered it. You have no stability in life and you seem to take on different personalities as soon as something doesn't work out for you. I have seen some comments like this before and I'm not gonna lie, it hurts my feelings a little bit. I just can't see it. Like I know I go through phases and I try on different styles, but I think at my core, my personality has been the same. Like, I don't think I'm trying to take on a persona of a different person. I think 
the way I speak and just my general vibe has been very consistent for the 13 years that I've been online but you guys obviously you know see me in a different way so if that's what you're seeing that's what you're seeing but I don't know well that was fun Hi. For today's field trip, I have brought you guys with me to Office Max. <laughs> Not very exciting, I'm sorry, but I've decided it is time for me to buy a more advanced label maker. I need it because I'm gonna be making some nail polish swatch sticks and my current label maker is too fat, like the tape is too fat. So I'm gonna get one that has skinny tape and that also you can customize the font and stuff. I just think, I don't know how I don't already own this device because I put labels on everything. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Looking at this section always makes me so happy, especially like all these little stickers because it just makes me remember getting them on my papers when I was a little kid in school. <laughs> So cute. In another life, I would love to be a first grade teacher. So I ended up getting the Brother P-Touch Cube because you can use your phone to design the label and then print it through Bluetooth. And it was surprisingly the cheapest one. It was only $60. So I'm very excited and I cannot wait to go home and start making labels. <laughs> Now I just have to pop into Target real quick to grab something very miscellaneous that I need for my new channel. That's right, a new channel is coming soon. I don't wanna say the date yet because I'm not 100% positive, but it's coming very soon. And in a little bit longer, I will tell you guys what the concept of the channel is. It is a hard theme, okay, because I, I kind of believe that you have to have a really hard niche these days on YouTube to do well. So I'm like, you know what? I think it's time to put my eggs in another basket, try something new. It's been a really long time since I've made a bold choice in my life and I'm about to make one. Very exciting news. My nail salon received a donation. Side note, please help me name my nail salon. Uh, should it be Kalel Nails? Salon Kalel? I don't know, I can't think of anything original right now. But anyway, one of my viewers, Christina, works for a amazing nail site called Beyond Polish. And she emailed me and asked me if I wanted anything and I'm like, yes, absolutely. So she sent me a goodie box and I cannot be more excited to open this right now. Thank you so much, Christina. I literally spent about five hours on the Beyond Polish site because I could not decide what I wanted because there was such a huge selection. They have like every nail polish you could think of available on their site. Anything you need for doing gel manicures or regular manicures, they've got it. I ultimately decided to get just a bunch of stuff from this one brand that I've never tried before. I'm taking a risk. <laughs> so the brand is called Le Mini Macron and the Macron cookie is a big part of their branding and I've never seen something this cute in my entire life. A little tiny gel lamp that it looks like a Macron cookie. You just put in one finger at a time and turn on the light. Like, I cannot handle this. This is amazing. <laughs> These are what the polishes look like. They're just a really nice, cute, simple design. And one other exciting thing I received today, this package from Etsy of nail charms. Oh, no. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is the definition of extra. It has a little dangly, it has a little dangly element. <laughs> See this? Cute. It's like literal jewelry for your nails. How cute is she? I love butterfly stuff for nails. Little shooting star. 
I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Is this my calling? Is doing nails my calling? It really feels like it in this moment, but I'll probably I'll probably come down from my high soon and realize that it's not that great. But for now, guys, I can't get enough of it. I'm really having the best time over here. <laughs> a quick little overview that nobody asked for but I'm gonna give you anyway ending my day by making some nail polish swatches I can't explain to you why but this is a very satisfying and relaxing activity it really is like there's something meditative about it probably can't tell but I have a massive cyst right here on my eyebrow and I have never felt so much pain and pressure from a pimple in my life you guys oh my god <gasps> Pookie are you gonna get in it before me don't you do it don't that <laughs> Pookie is shocked. She's like, Mom, we've leveled up in life. What is this? It's so nice, right, boys? What's that? <laughs> Thanks again to Brooke Lennon for helping me elevate my bed. And again, if you guys would like to take advantage of the promotion, all you have to do is click the link in my description. Use code Kalel at checkout and you will save $20 off a $100 purchase. Please say bye. Can you say bye?